Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Snowdy, and I'm here at the Chicago Comic Con 2009 with the one, the only, Chrissy Hemi. How are you today? The one and the only. The one and the only. I love it. Never duplicated, never replicated. Yeah. So, how, how have you been enjoying the convention so far? Very much. It's been a really busy convention, and everybody's really excited to see everyone. And I, I'm, a, and I'm an energy freak, so. So you're feeding off the vibes and everything. I am feeding off the vibes, and it's high energy and fun. You're like right up here right I'm now. Like, woo, Actually, hey, that's one of the things that a lot of people have always said about you is that the fact that you've always had this energetic personality. Even at TNA right now, when you come out, you're just kind of like really high and peppy and just, <laughs> well, well, I don't mean high. I mean, you're just, yeah. you're stoked. You know, you're really I'm peppy. Happy. I'm doing something that I love and people are in, enjoying it with me and that, that makes me happy. Now, how long exactly have you been in the wrestling business? About five and a half years now. Yeah. And has, has it been a lot of fun the entire time, or have you had the low points where it's just like, I don't want to do this anymore? I've never been where I don't want to do this anymore and I'm done. Right. But I've all, uh, like anything that you do, you go through the highs and lows of, you know, giving it your all. I've never, ever been um, or lost my passion. Like, I love wrestling. I'll love wrestling to the day I die because I don't think that once you love something like that how could it never leaves your heart even if you get mad at it you're mad at it because you love it you know what I mean yeah it's, it's the you, ooh, you get me so angry oh, but I love damn. you and I hate you so much you know oh trust me I understand that now you, you're coming here and meeting all the fans and of course you're still with TNA and and you used to be a Playboy cover model and you could still be a Playboy cover model <laughs> you know I, I, I don't want to say used to because it makes it sound like you know the past yeah. do you do you do you find at times that people sometimes look at you and they kind of objectify you or do you or do you do you do you take it as a compliment because they do find you attractive i mean is, is has there ever been a problem where a fan went over the line with how they treated you uh, i've had i've been really really lucky and i think that it's just because i've never been an overly outwardly sexual person even though I've got a lot of sexual photos I'm really like I enjoy people and when I'm at things like this and fans come up they're usually talking about wrestling and talking about energy and and having fun and stuff like this so for me I've never really had that come to me I've never had that problem so it's been I've been really fortunate well, I just wanted to ask because uh, there have been times where we've interviewed some of the some of the other ladies and and you, you, you hear about these horror stories, and I'm just like, God, that's horrible because you're such a nice person, and you're so energetic, and you put out so so much energy level and so much compassion that I'm like, how can anybody do that to another person? I think that, like, for me, my favorite part of this business has always um, come from the fans, and my energy has always come from the fans. And so I think when you love something back like that, it comes back to you good. And that's always how which it's ma Which makes you love it more, so it's a, yeah. self, it's a it's completing like a little, cycle. It's like a little circle, and it's a circle of love. I'm just saying, love, peace, baby. <laughs> now, if people want to know where you're going to be next or how to reach you or, or just drop you an email or what have you, do you have a website that they can go to? Um, they can go to my MySpace, which is Hemi Powered. And um, I am coming back to TV. Yes, I'm, I'm done with my injury. I'm all cleared by the doctors, healed up. 100% ready to go, ready to kick some ass, and... Ready to make a hell of an impact again. <laughs> exactly. Do, do we know when exactly you're coming back, or, or what, at least what month you're coming back? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, this week, babies. <laughs> this week. So, uh, everybody watch Impact this week, because I'll be on it. <laughs> Chrissy, we really appreciate your time. We thank you so much. We know that you're very busy, and you've got to go. But any time that you spent with us is much appreciated. Thank you. We wish you the best of luck, and thank you again, and, and we hope to see you again next year in Chicago. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Keep on watching, guys. we got some more interviews coming up. Not as great as this one, but, you know, it's good. Just keep watching. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, look, he's professional. <laughs>